I'm just going to pan this area a little bit before we begin. Over there is a government sanctioned uh, animal and wildlife preservation. And over there is an island, which is where the eagles fly. Just doing a panoramic view of this immediate area. There's the island again. I don't know if you'll be able to see me as great as yesterday, but lighting is always different. Um, this is part two, and we were privileged enough just a minute ago to get Tina the heron to talk, and they sound like a prehistoric bird. And, you know, I have been enjoying nature as much as I could possibly enjoy it, other than the mosquitoes and the horseflies, which it's pretty typical this time of year to get a lot of that. This is the perfect time of day, actually. There's minimal mosquito activity. The breeze is lovely. It's about 70 degrees. I didn't know whether it was going to be cold or hot, so I'm just dressed very comfortably at this point in the day. And I would like to um, talk to all of you about gratitude and you know, the appropriate placement of gratitude in our lives, and even being grateful for things that challenge us on the most human level. You know, a lot of people are suffering right now, and some suffering is self-made, and other forms of suffering, you know, other people inflict upon us, and some is just unfortunate happenstances around the world, especially now in this day and age, more and more people are being challenged and, you know, thwarted in a lot of their dreams and plans, me included, and I'm okay with it at this point because I realize that when things happen to, you know, what we consider obstacles sometimes are measures put into place to ensure our well-being. And other times it's a challenge and truly we want something so much that when it doesn't happen, we have to come back into ourselves and, and ask ourselves, you know, not necessarily what we're doing wrong, but at, tell ourselves and remind ourselves what we're doing right and why we're here. It's to experience love on the many levels of humanity and you know, we have family, we have friends, we have work, we have play, we have this aspect of living, being in nature. And to me, this is the part where I was starting to question why I wasn't spending enough time in nature and why I wasn't connecting to the most basic and simplistic form of our reality, which is getting in touch with nature in any way you can. Even for some people who don't have that ability, we talked yesterday about this, you know, buy yourself some dirt, get a few small little herbs and make yourself a fairy garden. And this is one way that if, if you are not in touch with nature, it will give you a little bit of a blessing from nature by touching the dirt and handling the plants and communing with the elementals, which it has been, every year I come here and I'm amazed because every year I have a different experience. And this year has been equally, if not exceptionally, more profound than the previous years. And when I first came up after 20 years, I just, you know, like I said, this is a, a, a resort area. This is DNR protected land in some parts. This is a wildlife preservation, and the people that live in the communities around here truly know what it means to preserve their their livelihood, their environment, but I also see a lot of gratitude taking place, and the different forms of gratitude. It's not necessarily done through the aspect of religion and worship. It is done through the reverence of the land, 
giving back to the land, preserving the animals, taking care, not, not taking too much from, from the, the lakes um, for fishing and, you know, catch and release, um, not hunting when you're not supposed to. And actually, this is a big hunting area only at certain times of the year. We are going to be coming up on duck hunting season soon and eventually deer hunting season. And just last night, I said, look, uh, mother and baby deer, which I guess there was two baby deers because one of the other people said, oh, did you see the other small deer? And there was two babies and a mama, but the one mother and the baby came, um, you know, walking down while the other baby had ran off, which the people that live here told me that these deers come through here and they've seen bear and fox and it's, it's, this is their home and we are guests in their home. And this brings me back to gratitude and, you know, the proper placement of gratitude often helps when you are even in a situation where you feel out of place. And, you know, the first time I came up here after 20 years, I, I was a little nervous and I felt a little out of place and the elementals and nature and the animals and everything that is around me made me feel at home and at peace and quite comforted by the fact that we are always surrounded by, by nature and in various forms and even those that live in the city. We talked about this before, you know, you have to be grateful no matter where you are in this world, but if you can find a place to escape and retreat and consider it your, you know, a peaceful sanctuary, um, that's where gratitude takes place. It takes place on this inner level and then you start to really experience it on the outer levels. For me, um, and I know it's like this for many of you that are listening or watching and those of you that are my friends who confide in me and trust me, please just know that the more grateful you are and the more you exhibit various forms of gratitude through giving service to others, planting trees, giving back to nature, and just being grateful for your existence and not trying too hard, not pushing, not pushing too hard, not cutting the corners, just live every moment and even the depressing moments, the sad moments and the negative moments in life, we must understand their placement and we need to give thanks for all those experiences because it makes us grow as people. And in a moment, I'm going to send some Reiki. And give me a sip of tea because I'm going to do a little bit of light language song. And I only have the free option for, fa for YouTube, so... Um, give me one moment. Let's do another panoramic view. Got about four minutes left. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's keep going. Om Yanam Bodhisattva Asyanta Pose. Fahaya wena Fahaya wena Jumbara seta ya he Se <laughs> No 
Sumbara sota paya he ha ha Mombari eshkutu suta pata eshkutu nda pata la ia to suti a veshkia pato sandia pata la eshkutu pa Tambari auto pata sandia pato eshkutu pata ia sumba dea suta la ia mbato suta eskaya Uji e paso sandia sa a pato sunde pe ashka a namano sea May gratitude surround you and all the blessings of the multiverse surround you and may you fill yourselves up with serenity, sovereignty, and synchronicity. Bright blessings. Much love to all. Namaste, bright blessings to all, much gratitude, Reiki on, always.